Right. Well, guess <laughs> what? We're officially in a new age of oh, space exploration. It sounds so exciting to say. <laughs> yeah, it's right? been decades in the making, truly. Intuitive Machines, a privately owned aerospace company, has successfully landed on the moon. The unmanned lunar lander Odysseus is the first U.S.-based lunar rover to touch down on the moon's surface in 50-plus years. Let's bring in Fox News correspondent Jonathan Sari on this monumental mission. Uh, Jonathan, last time we spoke, we spoke to you yesterday, but last week you had told me how cold it could get on the moon, that South Pole, well below zero. But hey, the good news here, we have officially returned. Yeah, officially returned. The mission was a successful landing, but boy, was it a nail biter. It all started when they were getting ready to leave lunar orbit and begin the descent down to the surface. Technicians back on Earth discovered that a navigation system crucial to landing on board that spacecraft wasn't working. Fortunately, there was an experimental NASA system on board one of the government payloads. Uh, the technicians with intuitive machines came up with a, a patch, uploaded it to the spacecraft, and commanded the spacecraft to start using that NASA system as it began its automated descent. And that appeared to do the trick. After the expected touchdown, several painfully silent minutes went by as technicians waited to hear a transmission from the spacecraft, radio silence. Then they finally got a faint signal. What we can confirm without a doubt is our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting. So congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. After troubleshooting the communications issue, Intuitive Machines was able to confirm Odysseus was upright, operational, and officially the first commercial spacecraft to successfully land on the moon. Space exploration advocates are excited about the potential for this growing industry. There are vast resources in the universe that will support our way of life and support our society. We can move our heavy industry off of Earth and clean our environments. So America has been to the moon before half a century ago, but yesterday's commercial landing represents one giant leap for the lunar economy. Stephen? Jonathan, let's just say thank goodness for those payloads, important in more than one way. You were detailing what else is on board this lunar lander. Am I the only one that's really uh, wanting to see a, a, an image, one of those pictures to be sent back from the lunar lander? There was a discussion of that yesterday, too. I mean, any word on on pictures yeah in fact this morning intuitive machines posted on social media that their spacecraft was alive and well and that they are anticipating uh, releasing the first pictures from the lunar surface haven't done it yet but that could come later today uh, they and NASA have scheduled a news conference for late mm. this afternoon that's when we'll see it they got to keep this excitement right as we head into the weekend <laughs> appreciate it thanks for that update Fox News Jonathan Siri with the good news. Game on.